Um, all right, guys. So all of you know uh, we've done this before, but just just for the sake of anybody watching, the purpose of these next few minutes is to address this, and this is the power balance bracelet. And one thing I did not tell you last time, the reason that I wanted to learn about these and uh, share that knowledge, Lumpkin Boozer, get off your phone. My wife and I went to uh, an expo in San Antonio where they were doing a marathon, a half marathon, and I saw a booth where they were selling these things. And I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't really know much about them. And so I sat back and I just watched. And I sat back and I, I watched as these customers would come up to the stand and these representatives of the company would work with them and they would administer this test. And these people, much like Callie was last time, wherever Callie was, they would just, they were awestricken, like, oh my gosh, it really works. I need the, and, and I'm not going to talk about at this point, in, at this juncture, I'm not going to talk about if they work, how much they work, you know, to what effects you're going to have with these because I want to do a relatively unbiased test with our subject today. But I'm going to talk to you about what I saw and then I'm going to tell you uh, what's underneath what you might see. So, Dr. Dubois, this is a power balance bracelet. Now, what some people will claim, I'm not going to necessarily say the business claims, but what you will read on websites and hear through word of mouth is that these bracelets will help you uh, have better balance. They will help you be more flexible. And some people will say they'll make you stronger. You can run faster. You can jump higher. Who knows? But, uh, but by wearing this bracelet, there's something inside here that you see that, uh, the, that affects the human body in a positive manner. So, Dr. DuBois, if you don't mind, you don't have to, but what I want to do is I want to bring you up here and I want to administer a test to prove that this bracelet works. And it's a very simple test. I, you're not going to vomit. You know, no, nothing's bad going to happen. You're not going to get punched or tased or anything. It's a simple balance test. That's all it is. And I want to administer this test, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, what the results mean. So y'all can give Dr. DuBois a hand here. Come on. Come on. He's, he's a good guy. So, so Dr. DuBois, how this, how this test works is obviously you know when it comes to, to, to tests, we have to do a control test. So we're going to do a test without the bracelet. Now what I would like for you to do is I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I want you to stand on your left foot if you can, and I want you to spread your arms uh, wide such as this, just horizontal. Just kind of keep a little bit of bend in the elbows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to you and I'm going to push down on your right arm. And I want you to try to, no matter how much pressure I put pre uh, pressing down on your right arm, I want you to keep the arm horizontal and try to maintain your balance, okay? Right. So the power balance bracelet is uh, relatively far away. We're going to let Jessica hold it here. And so whenever you're ready, just step forward here and step on your left foot. Pull your, and whenever you say you're ready, I'm going to push down on your elbow. Your objective is to maintain your balance. Are you ready, Dr. DuBus? Go for it. All right, here we go. Maintain your balance. Yeah, no, no, you got to try harder than that. You got to try harder than that. Come on. You got to prove me. Come on. Try, maintain your balance. Come on, Dr. Boss. Maintain that balance. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay. You want to go one more time? You want to go one more time? One more time. Hey, now really prove me wrong. Here. Come on. Show me that, that you can maintain your balance. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, okay. Now you were really trying. Now you were, no. I, I, now you were really trying, right? I really want you to really try. Okay, okay. So come back here again. Now, this time I'm going to do three trials, but I'm not going to tell you which of those three trials I'm going to have the power balance bracelet next to you. Okay. Okay. So come up here where you can't really see me too well, and I'm going to administer three trials. And again, you're not going to know when the power balance bracelet is next to you. So just let me know when you're ready. Okay. You can get up on a foot there. Okay. Now, now are, do you have your game face on? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. All right. This is the first of three. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> is it fair to say that I pushed down harder and you were able to maintain your balance at that point? Yeah, probably. Okay. What I, what I did was, is I was kind of lying to you about three trials. And all I did was, on that first trial, is I placed this on your shoulder like that. Did you know that it was there? No. It was right there the whole time. So my question to you, my, my question to you, Dr. Boss, is... With that being said, is it possible that that bracelet had a positive effect on your balance? It's possible. 
Did I do anything different between the trials with the bracelet on your shoulder and not? Did I do anything different whatsoever? Not that I can tell. Okay, thank you very much. Now we have one more test to administer. And just, just so you guys point out, that was one of the many tests I saw at the San Antonio Expo. And I want to show you one more test that I saw called the Total Body Rotation Test. What really happens with this bracelet, and, and I asked Dr. Dubas a question. I said, Dr. Dubas, did I do anything different between the trials without the bracelet and with the bracelet? And he answered very wisely. He said, not that I could tell. And the fact is, I did, su did su do something different, but he couldn't tell. And what I did different had nothing to do with the bracelet. Who cares about the bracelet? Bracelet has nothing to do with the fact that he was able to maintain his balance when it had it on his shoulder. So Dr. Dubas, if you come over here again, you don't have to get down on one foot. Just put your arms out laterally like this. When I pushed down the first time, all the person feels is me pressing here, and I can make very subtle pulls and pushes on him from right to left without he or she knowing it. So what happens is, when the bracelet is not around him, I will push down and slightly pull outward to pull him off of his balance. Now, if I'm a salesman and I want him to believe that my bracelet is going to work, what will I do when the bracelet is around him? I will actually push down. And the trick is here, if he actually starts to fall, I will push him back into his balance. I will keep this person balanced, no matter what. Now, I've seen that on TV, on commercials. There's a guy in an airport or something. Right, yeah. right. And he's demonstrating that's exactly what he's doing, and everybody's baffled. Oh, my God. I had this one lady, she seriously, she wanted to buy 10 bracelets after she saw this. At $40 a piece. Yeah. She was willing to drop 400 on these bracelets after she saw that. Now, you can have a seat. I'm sorry. I told you that before. Okay, but the flexibility test, the total body rotation test, and they'll do somewhere, okay, touch your toes, and they'll say, okay, here's a bracelet, touch your toes again. Well, actually, you will go further, theoretically, after you've stretched, stretched first time. Why? You already know this. Why? Because the, the connective tissue in your muscles and tendons, that's right, they become more elastic as you stretch them. So what these people will say is, you stretch, okay, here's a bracelet, stretch again, you'll go further. Oh my gosh, it was the bracelet. No, it wasn't. It was just a characteristic of the elastic tissue and the, uh, the connective tissue in your muscles and tendons.